So the next day he says, this is the song that played through my head, but they are saying Jumbo, but we will make lyrics out of that. So he sang the song to us and we rehearsed it. Jambo, jambo, buwana, habari gani, mzuri sana, wageni, mwakaribishwa, Kenya yetu, hakuna matata. Just as, as you cross to the south coast, to the left, I've forgotten the name of that hotel. We were also performing there as resident band once a week. Mm. So we had dropped to five, five nights at uh, Severin so, Plaza and uh, the other one. Yeah. So we, we took this contract and we were performing there. But at Severin, one day after our performance, we were at the bar having our, our drinks and uh, people were talking, the barman joking with the, with the, the, the tourists. But the norm was anybody coming in was greeted, Jambo, 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 you know. And then after that, Teddy says, you know, I have an idea of a song. I'll share it tomorrow in the rehearsal. So the next day he says, this is the song that played through my head, but they are saying Jambo, but we will make lyrics out of that. So he sang the song to us and we rehearsed it. Jambo, jambo, buwana, habari gani, mzuri sana, wageni, mwakaribishwa, Kenya yetu, hakuna matata. That's our national anthem. <laughs> yeah, so we rehearsed that song. We didn't go back to play it at uh, the Severin. We played it at Shelly Beach mm. the first time. And just like that, when we started playing that song, the four floor was just jam-packed. Get you to dance. Yeah. <laughs> First time we're playing it for an audience. They just came, you know, and they were having their drinks and the tourists just flocked onto the floor. There was magic in that song. Okay, okay, okay. So what happens? We started playing it. We were so encouraged. We started playing it at Severin Sea Lodge. And then a week or so later, we performed again. We were, like we used to go every week at uh, the Shelley Beach Hotel. And then when we performed it there, there was somebody from Polygram Records who was on holiday. Oh. Remember before this, we started this symphony, I, I said God has been very gracious to, to our family and the band. Yes. He was there. He saw the reaction of the audience. And during our break, he came, introduced ourselves, himself to us. He said, here's my card. You guys get in touch with me. He was one of the record execs for Polygram. For Polygram Records. So on Monday, landline, kutoka nyumbani, Teddy akampigia. Akamambia, look, you played that song. You announced it was your song. We'd like to record that song. Now, this is how God works for this band. That was a time where we were feeling almost, we, you know, we've been trying to move to Nairobi, but that's not in 1980. This is now, mm. we've been trying to move to Nairobi because we wanted to be known for our music. We wanted to be on radio, on social, on, on media, mm. but everything was, centered in Nairobi. Mm. If you wanted your music to play on VOK, you had to come to Nairobi, mm. and get it to. So we had been trying for five good years. But in 1980, when this guy said, Sasa, come and record this song. He called, Teddy called him on Monday. I, I mixed two things there. Teddy called him on Monday and we agreed and we said, hey, we'll take off from the hotels and go to Nairobi. Mm. Tukachukua off, came to Nairobi, Pasonic Hotel, Globe Cine Aranda, that's where we used to... <laughs> stay. <laughs> yes, stay. <laughs> Tukalipa rooms up on Nini. And then on, a, I think on a Wednesday, 
That was much later after he made the call. Mm. On a Wednesday, we went and recorded that song at Polygram. Where was Polygram? Industrial area. Ooh. This is the first time you're entering a studio? Yeah, first time ever. Mm-hmm. So we recorded Kenya Hakuna Matata, which everybody calls Jambo Buana now. <laughs> Kenya Hakuna, Hakuna Matata, Matata is the original title. Mm. We recorded Kenya Hakuna Matata, which was composed by Teddy. And the flip side was Mombasa, which I had composed. We did a single. Kenya Hakuna Matata, flip side, Mombasa. And what is, which, which is Mombasa? Oh, it's a different song. It's a different song. Okay. It's just in praise of Mombasa. Okay. It's a song that I wrote, Teddy wrote, Kenya Hakuna Matata. Mombasa 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 nzuri mji wa amani Mombasa nzuri mji wa furaha Mombasa nzuri mji wa amani Mombasa nzuri mji wa furaha Mombasa ya pendeza Usiku na mchana Fanya ufike Mombasa Uone mwenyewe Mombasa ilivyo Yote mwakaribishwa Mombasa 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 nzuri mji wa amani Mombasa nzuri mji wa furaha Mombasa nzuri mji wa amani Mombasa nzuri mji wa furaha Mombasa yavutia mchana na usiku And then we did two other songs. We were experimenting with Chakacha back then, so we did Luba Luba, and then Luba Luba was uh, Teddy's composition, and then on the flip side was uh, Mateso, my composition. Mm.
So we did two singles. And, and haha, let's take people through your first studio experience. This is not digital age. This is not every single instrument. It is the band playing. Yes. You enter a room, it's whatever padded and everything, whatever, you as a band, you're, you're mic'd. Yeah. In terms of the equipment being mic'd and... Mm. Ex explain, take, walk well, us no, through a bit of... Engineer on the other side of the control room. Yes. <laughs> and then the drama counts and then here we go. But, like I said, we had rehearsed pra the exactly. so much. To date, we still rehearse almost the same, although we'll redu we've reduced. So, we were there. The studio, we were mesmerized, you know. The sound room, the control room. Wow, the machines. Two-track, reel-to-reel tape mm. was there. And we got to the recording part. We did, I think, one take. Who sang lead vocals on that? Jam, uh, Teddy. Teddy. Yeah. So, but you were BGVs, all of the rest yeah, of BGVs you. Yeah, BGVs and playing the instrument. Yes. Yeah. Was, were you the only BGV? BGV, for those who don't understand, means background vocals. Background vocals. It's the no. singers. Uh, I did background vocals. Uh, George did background vocals. And our late brother, Dennis. Did background vocals. Yeah. And let's be clear. It is all a one take. There is no at let's first record the instruments and then mm, let's record no. the vocals, mm. let's record the lead vocal, let's record the BGVs. Everything is in that the length of the song. Yeah, one take. And we did a one take recording of that song. So you never did another recording? No, no. we were so well rehearsed. We did not what? make any mistake. So we did a one take of that song. I remember the engineer was Chris Mbindio then. Mm. One take. No one made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. And it was so for all the other songs because we had been rehearsing so well. Mm. So one take, one take, one take. Akuna cha, you'll do the background vocals there, you'll add this there. No. Done. Done. So what happens now when you're done with the recording? We're done with the recording, something odd happens. The management was so happy. Usually, and I'm saying this with all humility. To that horn of yours. <laughs> usually, yeah. all the bands that used to go to Polygram, and this was big then, were taken to the staff canteen mm. for dinner or for four o'clock tea. 
lunchtime, they brought in their van. I said, Apana, because we did the first two songs before lunchtime, and then the engineer kept on playing them. And, and then lunchtime, they said, we are taking you for, for lunch. We were driven from industrial area all the way to Boulevard. It was a big hotel mm. back, back in the day. Mm. So we had our lunch there. And they treated us now. We started feeling like, hey, kumbi tuneza kwa stars kidogo. So back, paka wale wafanyikazi wako na sema, hey, kwa nini nini yao wazungu mwafanyia nini? Because they brought in drinks to the studio, soft drinks. Yeah, the... uh, a thing that they had not done for any other band. Hapo tukamaliza recording. Now, the most, or if, if I can use this word, the baddest thing happened after the recording. They gave you the contract to sign. Yeah, we were so excited. We were so green. They, they had lightened you up. Yeah. <laughs> and what happened? So we are given the contract. We were all young. Teddy is the eldest. Bana we utasoma bana. So we were so focused on hearing ourselves on, the, on radio. the radio. So they gave this contract, which transferred all our rights to them. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Shindwe. 